Ever seen a website that looks 3D but isn't? I just found one made with Framer, and it got me wondering how they pulled off that illusion. And as someone who loves diving into 3D effects in web design, and has shared videos on these topics before I knew I had to learn more. After looking on the internet, I found a very useful tutorial made by Framer University. So, if you're curious too, stick around, because I'm diving into exactly how they did it. Hi, I'm Bendy.ui, an amateur who's passionate about exploring creative design techniques. If you find this journey interesting, I'd love for you to join our community by subscribing. First, we need to find a 3D animation that we like. Personally, I search for it on YouTube, but it's really up to you. Once you find one, hop onto this website that generates images from your video. Keep in mind that the longer your video, the more images you'll get, which can make this process take longer. Now, I'm importing all those images into Figma and using the built-in background remover to isolate the subject. One important thing to note, though, is that it's preferable to avoid what I did and to make sure to choose an animation where the subject is easily distinguishable from the background. Once that's done, I move over to Framer, where I already have a web template set up. Select all your images and wrap them in a frame using Control G01. Enter. Resize them as needed and arrange them from the first image to the last. Next, create a component. And inside the component window, create a frame for each image, ensuring that only one image is visible at a time. Uti, like I'm doing right now. Now that we're done, go back to the main page and add a code override to this component. Then, copy the code that I'll provide in the description. Be sure to set the correct number of variants based on how many images you have. In my case, it's 28. Once that's done, just add it to your website, and there you go. Now, I'll add some animations to enhance the web page, and that's it.